You've probably seen studio monitors that look like this and like this. And aside from aesthetics, there's gotta be a difference between these two, right? Good news, there is. First, let's go over what makes up a traditional studio monitor. You have the tweeter and the midwoofer. In a three-way monitor, you will also have another larger woofer. And with each of these cones, you will typically have a crossover frequency between each of them. This prevents each cone from working twice as hard while also preventing phase issues that would arise between the woofers themselves without the crossover. For most studio setups, this won't be an issue. If you are working mostly in a box and you don't use a lot of external hardware and have to make adjustments by moving your head out of your sweet spot, then traditional studio monitors are probably gonna work just fine. But for some, this might cause an inconvenience when trying to judge the translation between their mix when making adjustments. And with all that being said, I know you can get headphones. And honestly, if you do this, don't. I mean, if it's more convenient, I get it. If you don't even have the funds for regular studio monitors, that's one thing. But before you do this, let me offer you a third solution. MTM Studio Monitors, otherwise known as Mid Tweeter Mid Design. This is great for creating a greater sweet spot without increasing reflection points and phase issues within your room. It creates a better dispersion pattern with the tweeter being in the center of the two woofers, which allows you to spread the monitors wider without having to worry about any additional phase issues or getting more accurate and focused listening area than you would with a traditional style monitor. Now that we've covered the differences between traditional and MTM studio monitors, there's one more that we need to mention, and that is the coaxial style. The difference between this type and the others is that the tweeter now sits in the center of the midwoofer driver. The problem this solves is that the drivers now don't have to worry about timing difference in comparison. On the flip side, you now lose that dispersion pattern that you would get when using an MTM style monitor, making it less convenient for untreated rooms. The way you fix this is actually just bringing your monitors closer, which if you were to use the MTM style, it would be a little less convenient and might cause more issues than you want it to when trying to adjust how far away you need them. Coaxial speakers, depending on the size that you're getting, will be much easier to move around and prevent issues that you would get with the MTM and traditional studio monitors. Now that's quite a bit of information to take in. So which one's right for you? I actually own a pair of each of these monitors and I don't really have a preference between them. The Personas Eris E66 MTMs are my go-to for my stereo setup and the Kali Audio Coaxial IN series, which are for my Dolby Atmos setup. They both serve a purpose. The E66s I can have in my small room without having major time effects, and no matter if I'm standing up or sitting down, I have a great response and I'm hearing what I wanna hear accurately. While the Atmos setup I have in my room really helps with time delay and phase cancellation crossovers between 11 satellite speakers in my room, even Personas recently got into making speakers designed for immersive mixing. And if you want to learn more about that, be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But in reality, it all just depends on what your needs are. And to be fair, not everyone needs an Atmos studio, but I figured I'd mention that anyways for those of you who are looking to take that next step up. And if you're looking for an affordable way to get started in Dolby Atmos, I highly recommend checking out this video. Traditional monitors aren't a wrong option, especially if you have a preference in your studio or if a certain brand even makes the kind of monitors that you like. And I know pricing can get kind of crazy on some of these types of monitors, but if you're just wanting to keep it traditional, that's fine. Especially if you intend to be the only listener in your studio and you're just making music constantly, really any set of monitors will do you fine. And between the MTM and the coaxial monitors, there, there's a very fine line for those people that need one or the other. Let's also not forget that every company has their way of doing things. So I know some MTM speakers can be put vertical or, or horizontal, but not all monitors have all these different ways that you can do things. Make sure you do your research before you invest. And I know I really didn't go into super deep detail about everything, about every speaker and the exact dispersion patterns and whatnot. So if I skipped over any crucial details that might influence somebody's opinion on any of these monitors, please leave a comment down below. It'll, I, I really appreciate it, honestly. Also, here's that video about personas and how they're getting involved in the immersive technology. Hope to see you in the next video.